Here we have the dashboard, complaints, drivers, travels, riders, drivers waiting approval. We're going to pend in drivers. These can be edited here. Click and then we come up to this symbol here. So the driver can go into the app and put their names, mobile numbers, taxi plate, car name, colour, car year, bank account number, address, and they can upload the documents in the app. Come down here, select the service, so you can put whatever you want. Four seater saloon, six seater London cab. You can approve after looking at the documents, or if you prefer, have them come into your office with the documents. Order service, pick a point, could say 24 High Street, South End. And the pickup destination anywhere. Example if you come down, you can book for later. Expected time eight in the morning and select which car you want. The rider to assign, so that which driver you want to assign them to. We have a list here, and that's the way to book service. Call request, the driver can call the rider. Complaints, somebody's been ill in the car, or causing problems through drunkenness. Payment request. Your drivers can request payments from you. Request date, payment date, amount, and their bank account number. Coupons. You can put coupons in. Title of the coupon, the code, description, the discount. You can give them 10% to the rider. And you can record them all here. You can do this through the app. Drivers, you can have a look at their names, last name, plate, mobile number, and their ratings. You can see if they're online or offline. If the driver has caused problems, you can block the driver. Riders, you can search the riders here. The riders' names, balance, if they've opened up a Stripe account, promotions, here it is linked to the coupons, so whatever promotions you've had, maybe a test. This shows you the dashboard and the travels. Status, pickup address, destination address, date, media library. Here you can upload photos of your cars. Base definitions, the services. If you are in United Kingdom, you could have normal, then you'd have something like a four seater saloon with a photo, appropriate photo. Six seater extra large car, so you could have something like a Ford Galaxy, then you could have a six seater Hackney, and an eight seater taxi bus. You can set the title of the car, the base fare, whatever your local council tells you. If you're a Hackney, but if you're a private hire operator's license, then you can set your own, but different councils will have different rules. Every 100 meters, you set the fare, the minute wait, the minute travel. 
available time from so if, if you've got different prices which come into effect at 10 p.m. in the night or midnight then you can change them here the regions you can actually edit the region come here let's say you want to do Cardiff then you can actually draw the map in Cardiff of what areas of Cardiff or London wherever so you draw the map click in here click in here and carry on clicking until you've got the area of London or Cardiff that you want to cover and then you just enable that so you can only accept bookings in those areas if you draw that map so there might be some areas of the city that you want to avoid because there's not much money there or you have trouble there cars different car images you can upload click the box and you can edit here ID could be Toyota Prius select media and you can select the car we do everything for you this is all included in the price that we do all the software for you complete types you could have something like a plus here it could be ID title drunk rider importance you can set that low medium high so it's a very serious complaint about a rider or you could send the type rider or driver complaint click save and there are other settings general settings here commission for each driver set at 10 automatically but you can change this we can do this for you the minimum balance for a driver to request payment is set at £50. So when you take credit card payments off riders, then the driver is owed that money, whatever you want to do, if it's a 50-50 split or 10%, whatever you want. You can change this if you like. Maximum distance from rider to receive request, 10,000 meters. Cash payment reduces commission from driver credit. Different versions. User settings. So that will be you with the R operator. So you can have a username, whatever you want, and a password. So then you can give other operators who take calls for you. You can add them here. If you've got three or four controllers, just put their ID, first name, last name, mobile number, phone number, username, address, and the permissions. They can view permission services, update them, delete them. Permission for cars, view them, update, delete. Permission complaints, travels, riders. Some of this is sensitive information, so you might want to think about what... You actual permissions you want to give to the controllers and that's an overview of the dashboard everything's done for you in the software the server is in Amsterdam for tax reasons you can save a lot of money it is your responsibility to appoint a Dutch based lawyer and a Dutch based solicitor to set up your Dutch company if you prefer and any information you want just contact us thank you for watching